Brought to you by Sennheiser. Join the quiet revolution. By Avidine. Flying made simple. By Aspen Avionics. A new way to look at avionics. And by XMWX Satellite Weather. Full perspective on any compatible device you choose. Hi, this is Jeff Van West from AirVenture Oshkosh 2012. And portable and backup EFIS seem to be a theme this year. Dynon's D1 costs $14.25 and it gives you a complete backup EFIS in a single box. Here's Ed Lansing of Dynon to tell you a little bit more. This is the new Dynon D1 pocket panel. It's a fully self-contained, battery-powered, portable EFIS. It has a built-in AHARS and a built-in GPS. It shows attitude, ball, slip skid indicator, and from GPS, we're getting GPS ground speed, altitude, VSI, and heading. The battery lasts for over four hours. It includes a cigarette lighter adapter. You can Velcro it to your panel, and it also comes with several panel mount options. For example, we have a clip-in mount, which fits in a standard three and an eighth inch hole spring-loaded, clips in easily, and then the D1 snaps into that. The D1 is also available with a suction mount, and you can fly away with one of these today. It seems like every time we turn around this year, there's another portable ADS-B receiver as well. SageTech arrived at Oshkosh with their own, but with something added, a backup Atahars. Here's Kelvin Scribner of Sage Tech to tell you a little bit more about the $1,100 Clarity. This is our first year at Oshkosh, but we're not newcomers to aviation. We've been making parts for unmanned aircraft for over a decade, like this Modest transponder that's getting certified full power ADS-B in and out with an altitude encoder. This is what we mean small when our max gross weight is only 30 pounds. Clarity, our new ADS-B receiver, has 1090, 978, and a GPS WAS receiver and it's the smallest one on the market. But the real kicker is the Synthetic Vision AHARS. The Clarity Dual SV has an AHARS where you just align the arrow with the nose of the airplane, turn it on, and off you go. And let me show you how it works. You take off, the pitch goes up, the roll goes left and right, and the Synthetic Vision AHARS comes in very handy at night and in IMC. It's not portable and it's only for experimental aircraft but the $8,000 VP400 is a backup EFIS with something truly unique. Here's Mark Osman of Vertical Power to tell you a little bit more. This is the Vertical Power VP400. It's the next generation backup EFIS system. And what's truly unique about this system is the runway seeker technology. During normal flight operations, the system is constantly calculating the best runway to land. That might not necessarily be the closest, but the best. And that takes into account winds, runway length, runway width, terrain, and obstacles. When you do have an engine failure, go ahead and engage the runway seeker by pressing that button on the instrument panel. We'll take over the autopilot, take over control of the flaps, provide some flight director steering, and fly the aircraft down to the runway threshold. In addition, it gives you a path that we can look at right here. This is the path it's gonna follow, and there's some hoops on the synthetic vision display that will guide the aircraft down to the runway threshold. We're descending down the glide path. On the right side of the map display, you see an energy meter. This is the kinetic and potential energy based on current conditions. And you want the meter right in the middle. So at the bottom, you have barely enough energy to get to the airport. At the very top, you have too much energy, which means you'll come in too high, possibly too fast. So right now, we're on glide path, and we have the perfect amount of energy, so we have a very high confidence rate that we're going to be able to glide to this airport. Now we're on short final to the airport. You can see here there's a green gate, and that gate is 500 feet AGL. At that point, it's expected that the pilot will disconnect the runway seeker, take over, and land the aircraft manually. If the pilot doesn't do that for some reason, the system will put down full flaps, settle into a very gentle descent rate, and then whatever happens to the aircraft at that point is just up to fate. Given the breakneck pace of avionics development and the staggering cost of certified avionics, we'd expect to see more of these intelligent systems and portable systems as part of people's avionics solution in the future. Time will tell. This is Jeff Van West for Aviation Consumer and AvWeb. Thanks for watching.